Welcome back. This is our algebra two transmission functions lesson number one, shifting functions homework review part four, and this is our last question for this homework review. Uh, again, please make sure you catch parts one, two, and three, and we appreciate any questions or comments you have. All right, what you think about some of the videos we have and what you've learned, uh, what things you thought were really helpful uh, to learning about functions, especially transmission functions. We'll see a lot of uh, even past algebra algebra two. Okay, uh, so and also hit that like button, give a thumbs up, please, please appreciate that. Uh, so, question number seven: Given the linear functions f f of x equals two x and g of x equals two x minus two, answer the following: Show the function f passes through the origin. Okay, so the origin is zero comma zero, and so to show that this is a we're going to show that this, this is a point on the function. We must show that f of 0 equals 0. So when we take the 0, question mark, equal to 2 times 0, right? So when x equals 0, does y equal 0? And we see in this case, yeah, is 2 times 0 is 0. Is 0 equals 0? Yes. Yes, it does. OK? And again, we show this because we plug the point into the function and we show that the, the function is balanced. Okay. Now, how is the function shifted to produce a function to produce function g? Now, one way to look at it is we see here's 2x. That's our original function. And we now we see 2x minus 2. So we would say in this case, the original function is f of x was, f of x was 2x, and g of x is 2x minus 2. We would say this is that that f of x is shifted down by two units to get g of x. So that's like, a, again, that transformation we see um, subtracting the number from the original function, and it's going to be a vertical shift, and it's just minus 2 down by 2. Now write the function g in factor form. That's part C. So g of x equals 2x minus 2. And the GCF, the greatest common factor, is 2. So we can, we can factor out the 2 to get 2 times x minus 1. And that's our g of x. See how it works out? But based upon C, how else can we describe this function f being shifted to produce g? Well, here's the thing, all right? If we consider f of x, if we consider f of x, okay, f of x, I'll use blue, blue, there you go. If f of x was 2 times x and g of x equals 2 times x minus 1, we see in this case, and I'll slice up a little bit here, we see in this case that we have a minus 1 here inside subtracting the x. And that would mean in this case, according to the how uh, well, we got f of answer c, it looks like that f of x is shifted to the right by 1 to get g of x. So it's interesting in this case, when we look at uh, looked at before from part b, part b says f of x shifted down by 2 units to get g of x. But when we look at the factored form for g, it looks like the f of x is shifted to the left, sorry, to the right, so to the right by 1 to get g of x. Okay, and you know what? Those two different transformations will yield the same result. So we should not be surprised. We should be, we, you know, we graph this and all. We'll see it's basically the same thing. Okay. Now, how would f of x need to be shifted to produce h of x equals to 2 times x plus 5 minus 7? Given that, zero, that, that f must contain the point 0, 0, what point must h of x contain? All right. So I'm going to give ourselves a little room here. All right. And so we see that the minus 5 here for, for h of x, that means we're going to 
shift f of x to the left by 5. And then this minus 7 looks like, again, we're looking for 2 prints this x. And so 2 prints x was 2 prints x plus 5 means shift f of x to the left by 5. And then minus 7 means we're going to shift and shift down seven units. Now, that will mean that the transformation we're going to have is x comma y becomes x minus five comma y minus seven. That's the, trans the translation we're doing now, okay? We're going to move everything to the left by five and down by seven, okay? So that's the transformation we're going to need to get to h of x. So we shift f of x to left by 5 and shift down by 7 to get, let me face up, to get h of x. All right? And that's our, our transformation here. Now, they tell us that 0, 0, we know 0, 0 was on the original function. So we apply this rule of 0 minus 5 and 0 minus 7. We get the coordinate negative 5 comma negative 7 as a point. Okay? All right, so this point must be on h of x. Okay, this point must be on h of x. Because it is really the coordinate zero, zero shifted to the, shifted to the, um, to the, to the, to the left by five and down by seven. And that's, you know, what point we know must be on h of x here, okay? Because any point on the graph of f translated under the same rule will now be that, po that new point on the h of x, right? And so that's how we know it's based upon our translations, right? And that makes a full page. And that's it. This is our our answer for question number seven, our last question for our review. So this is the end of our algebra two uh, transmission functions, lesson number one, shifting functions homework review. And if you found this helpful, please give us a video a like, appreciate it. Again, questions or comments in the comment section below. Uh, and of course, uh, subscribe to the channel because once we hit 200 subscribers, that the, we're gonna do a giveaway for a Funko Pop, all right, for anyone subscribed. And then of course, leaving comments on the videos that I'll be releasing later on. I'll let you know uh, which videos and up to what date you'll be able to participate for the videos and all. So uh, in any case, uh, thank you so much for, for watching. Uh, thank you so much for, for, for just uh, being able to uh, help view, view the videos if you've gotten this far. And I appreciate all of your all your views and any comments would be grateful. Thanks so much, everybody. Look forward to seeing you to our next lesson number two, where we start reflecting reflecting things, ladies and gentlemen. All right, everybody, take care. I'll see you in the next video. Be safe.